They run in for the history books for sure. All three of these clubs separated by just two points at the moment. City on top. You see the remaining fixtures. Arsenal on paper, the toughest run in of the three. Manchester City, the easiest. Robbie Earl, you have been Manchester City, Team Manchester Absolutely. City, the predictor from the beginning of the year. Robbie Musto, you've changed a little bit from Arsenal to City. So we got to assess it currently, where we stand right now. Who has the best chance? Well, uh, after the win today, a game with mid-April, and I call this City time. That's when they put the squeeze on. This is where the margin for error gets smaller. I think they'll win all six of their games, which will put them on 91 points, so that's the total that the others have got to do. And playing first today, it's a little bit of pressure on, on Arsenal and on Liverpool tomorrow. We'll have to get the three points. Yeah, I mean, you know, we've seen it before from Man City. That's not saying I'm a, that it's easy. You know, they've done it amazingly well before... They've got Champions League games that are chucked in there. We might even see Arsenal playing Man City over two legs in the Champions League semi-final. Imagine that in, mixed in with all the Premier League games as well. But I, you've got to go with Man City, I think, um, to win the title. Though Arsenal are, are about is playing about as well as they can, given what they've got. They're, they're, they're utilising every area of the field really, really well. And I think they're the strongest contenders, given Liverpool's last couple of games that have been a bit disappointing. Because of experience, you, you, you tend to go Manchester City or Liverpool because City have won it so many times in Liverpool a couple of years ago. But with your eyes, with what you watch, with the football that's been played, Arsenal would be the team. They're scoring goals, they're controlling the opposition, they're not having many shots at goal, and they've got the best defensive record in the league. What do you think about Arsenal and Aston Villa tomorrow? Well, Aston Villa played in the Europa Conference League on Thursday, so in, in effect, Arsenal have had two extra days you normally, almost, you normally think after a Champions League game, it's difficult. But Villa played as well. The way that Arsenal are playing, I think they're going to win. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.